Hello, I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles. In this video, we're going to talk about whether you can potty train a guinea pig. And I'm also gonna give you some useful tips. Guinea pigs do a lot of poops every day. And this can make the cage look messy very quickly, especially if you use fleece in your guinea pig's cage. A guinea pig that is trained to use a litter area would help keep the rest of the cage cleaner for longer. It would be fantastic if you could potty train a guinea pig to only use a litter box for their peas and poops. Cleaning would be so much easier and the bedding would last a lot longer too. Although you can't litter train guinea pigs in the same way as you train a cat to use the litter box, you can encourage them to use a certain area or areas of their cage. I'm going to explain how to determine which places in your cage are best for a toilet area and how to set up a litter box for your guinea pigs. Guinea pigs have particular toilet habits. You'll probably find that your guinea pigs already have some favourite spots where they like to pee and poop. Guinea pigs tend to do their business in these places. Where they feel safe, where they eat, particularly where their hay is, dark spaces, corners of a cage or hidey, and quiet places. It's worth taking a look in your cage before you clean it so you can see for yourself which places your guinea pigs prefer to use as a potty area. The areas our guinea pigs like to use as a toilet the most are the dark corners of their hides and under their hay rack. We recommend setting up two litter areas if you have the space in your cage. But if your cage is not big enough, you'd be best to stick to just one toilet area. Guinea pigs always pee and poop a lot when they're eating hay. If you use fleece liners, they can become very soggy very quickly in this area, which means frequent washing. Putting a litter box underneath the hay rack will keep the soiled bedding confined within the box. This way you can easily clean the litter box out as and when necessary without having to do a full clean quite so often. If you use fleece liners, you could alternatively put a pee pad under the hay rack, which will help a lot but we found using a litter box works better as it's more contained. Because guinea pigs like quiet corners and dark spaces, it's a good idea to set up a corner as a piggy potty with this in mind. You'll need to make the area as dark as you can. This could be done in several ways. A cardboard box with a small doorway cut in it, a dark hidey, and not a transparent plastic pig glue, or using fleece to cover the area. Bear in mind that your guinea pigs may prefer to poop in their other hides unless you make this area extra dark. Once you've decided where you're going to set up the toilet areas, you'll need to get a litter box. This will keep the soiled bedding in a contained area, which helps keep the rest of the bedding fresher for longer. You'll need to use a litter box that is sturdy enough and isn't going to tip if your guinea pigs put their feet on the sides of the box. Here are some litter box ideas. We find a reasonable sized cat litter tray works well for this purpose. But your piggies also need to be able to get in and out of it, so make sure the sides are not too high either. We've seen some guinea pig owners use plastic storage boxes with a doorway cut in them for access. This is a good litter tray solution as these boxes are generally quite sturdy and won't require them jumping in and out, so maybe better for older guinea pigs. But do make sure the doorway doesn't have any sharp edges where your guinea pigs may get hurt. Some people also use a cardboard box, but bear in mind that this will become soggy and you'll need to replace it each time it needs emptying. A plastic box or litter tray is a lot easier as you can simply empty it and easily clean it. 
Once you've got your litter box, you'll need to fill it with some kind of safe litter or bedding. Guinea pigs have very delicate respiratory systems and artificial fragrances and dust can cause them great harm. So it's important that you don't use cat litter or some other kind of litter that is for another type of pet because it will most likely be unsuitable for guinea pigs. We recommend you use a safe guinea pig bedding such as kiln dried pine shavings, aspen bedding, hemp bedding or paper bedding such as the small pet select paper bedding. You can also use kiln dried pine pellets which small pet select sell online. Newspaper isn't a good litter for guinea pigs and neither is shredded paper as they will become soggy quickly and the print on this paper isn't good for them either. However, you could line the box with newspaper providing you cover it completely with another type of litter. If you use disposable bedding in your cage, you may not need to add a litter box but simply use plenty of the bedding in your enclosed potty corner which you can easily scoop out when necessary. If you use fleece liners in your cage, it would be best to provide your guinea pigs with a litter box filled with disposable bedding. We find hay works really well in a litter box under the hay rack. What tends to happen is that as your guinea pigs eat the hay, more bits of hay fall into the litter tray. This means the litter box is constantly being filled with clean hay, so it stays dry and clean on top. However, we don't recommend using hay as litter elsewhere in the cage because it tends to become soggy quickly. Once you've set up your litter boxes and everything is in place, it's a good idea to let your guinea pigs know where you'd like them to use the toilet. So to help your guinea pigs get into the habit of using these specially designated areas, you should start by putting a few of their poops in the litter trays. The scent will encourage them to use these spaces and may help them become accustomed to using the litter box more quickly. If the litter tray becomes heavily soiled, your guinea pigs might find another spot for their toilet business, so it's important you regularly change the soiled litter to encourage them to use it. Each time you clean up their litter boxes, always put back a few poops to remind them that this is the bathroom. Setting up a litter box under the hay rack and in a dark corner should minimise the amount of poops elsewhere. One thing you should never do is to scold your guinea pigs for not using the designated potty areas. It's important to understand that you won't be able to train your guinea pigs to go to a litter box 100% of the time and it's inevitable you'll always have some peas and poops around the cage or in their other hideys. If you love guinea pigs you might like to visit our website where you can find lots of information about guinea pig care, housing, product reviews and much more. With around 60,000 people visiting our website per month, we're the number one guinea pig care site. So whatever you need to know about the world's cutest pet, you can find it here at www.guineapiggles.com in the US or .co.uk for the UK. Mm -hmm.